Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer, and currently working at Microsoft. Hello everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will say how we can quickly get insights from this data set. Okay, in front of you, I have a data set. It belongs to Superstore. And here I have all the details about the orders they have placed, the customer information and the customer related uh, region data city and how much sales they have made profit all this product information all this information i have in this data it's a superstore data so now i have to analyze this data and get some insights out of this okay so for that i have to go through with this data once i then i have to load this data into power bi and then i should start creating some visuals start creating the reports and then try to analyze the trends try to analyze the data right now what i'm going to do instead of uh, creating a report in power bi desktop i'm directly going to my power bi service app.powerbi.com it's a power bi service i'm directly going here and i'm going to one workspace okay in the workspace you will have all the workspaces so I am going to one workspace, Amazon Sales. Okay, Amazon Sales is my workspace name. And here I am trying to load my data set. Okay, I am trying to load my data set. So I am just clicking this data set option. And mine is an Excel file. So I am selecting that Excel file. And here you will get all the path here. So I will quickly click on this browse, browse this file. And I am selecting my data set. Click on open. Okay, so as soon as I have uploaded my data set, I have uploaded the data set, it is getting here in the Power BI service. Now you can see my data, the same data set which I have shown you here, You are the, it is coming here along with the column names here. What are the column names available? Everything it is showing here. Okay, now what I have to do, the next step is I want to either auto create a report or start from the scratch it is asking me okay so i just want to analyze what kind of data is available here so i am not going to create it from the scratch but just i'll give auto create okay let's see what kind of insights it is going to give me okay so it has quickly created this report for me. I have not created this report. Rather, the Power BI service just by uploading the data set, it has given me this insights. Okay, number of orders by ship mode. Each ship mode in this data set, we do have up the ship mode as well. Different ship modes we have first class, sec same day, second class, standard class. So based on the ship modes, the count of orders it is giving. Order ID, the count it is taking. Okay, means number of orders. Region wise it is giving. Segment wise, category wise, it is giving me some insights. Okay, so this is the auto create option from where we got this insights. There is one more. There is one more option from this. This is the data set which I have uploaded, right? There is one more option. We'll let's check this. Okay, auto create. We have already seen now. It has given me that visuals. Now I will give this get quick insights. So it is creating the insights. Okay, it is taking few seconds and it is trying for searching for insights. Okay, now the insights are ready. View insights. I have clicked on view insights. Maybe it's still not giving that. Let me do. Let me go here and do it again. To the workspace. Go here and give this 
view insights okay now you have got it was processing actually now you got this quick insights quick insights for this data set see what is the correlation between this city and the number of orders count of order id is nothing but the number of orders so that it is showing you and profit by year each year wise what is the profit and uh, shipping year shipping year by year and category how the sales is and sales by ship mode and profit by city and profit by region sales and count of states profit by subcategory i have not created any visual just uh, i have clicked on quick insights see automatically within seconds within few seconds automatically it is giving me the complete insights maybe it is use using the some standard charts okay only default charts it is using like a donut chart column chart stacked column chart bar chart this visuals it is using and it is quickly giving me some insights before i create some report before i could uh, before i could analyze the data manually the power bi itself has analyzed this and it is providing me the quick insights so the complete insights it has provided me okay so now out of this whichever is important for you you can just pin this one to a dashboard you can just click on the dashboard create one amazon sales dashboard i am giving the name to a dashboard okay this is my dashboard so i'm just quickly pinning out of this insights which the power bi has generated i will just pin whichever is looks important to me whichever is something i can use for my data story so i'll pin all the visuals okay here sales by category okay this also i'll pin it i'm pinning to my dashboard so uh, count of number of cities by ship mode okay so this also i will pin and uh, sales by ship year and region this also i will pin to my dashboard so all the things which is which i feel important i can directly pin this to my dashboard so all this you can check explore okay just by giving the quick insights you can get everything so i am pinning everything now i can go to the dashboard and check so i clicked on dashboard so now this is my amazon sales dashboard from the quick insights which power bi has developed i have only pinned the limited uh, visuals and from that i am able to see everything in this dashboard so these are the tiles in the dashboard so now you can adjust this however you want you can adjust this so this is a dashboard it's basically a single page data story so this is how you can leverage this quick insights functionality to get the insights about your data without manually creating a report and then once you get the insights you can directly pin this to your dashboard and create your dashboard it hardly took some seconds to create this right for more such informative videos please do like share and subscribe to our ksa data vision youtube channel and if you have any queries regarding this topic or if you are interested to learn any new topics please do comment in the comment section thank you